You see the little shit going. That's a video. Set up a meeting between Wilder and DeZone, and on the back of that, you never work with Deontay Wilder again. My colleague Rob Tebbett spoke to Shelley Finkel uh, last week, and Shelley refused to comment on it and said that you knew what actually happened. Yeah, and I Can knew what happened, and I, I, and, and I told you what actually happened. So so, I never asked you about it in Miami, but I know that you did with others. There's nothing to say. I mean, like, if he refused to comment, he refused to comment. And, I, and by the way, like, I was asked a question, I answered it. But, like, pretty much the whole industry knows what, what happened. And, and, and look, I, 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 I said this before, I'll say it again. I thought I did the right thing, I would have done the same thing again. My job was try to open all doors and avenues. You know, and by the way, the, the, the meeting that he found so objectionable, Shelley was sitting there. So was Al Heyman. So, you know. Did they set the meeting up? No, but that raises another question. There was managers. Why wouldn't they have set the meeting up with the zone? They could have. I mean, I'm, look, I don't even want to talk about it. What's done is done. I have no hard feelings. You know, Shelly can say whatever the fuck Shelly wants. I don't give a fuck. With respect to Deontay and I, I wouldn't have been involved with Deontay at all if he didn't make that decision. So I'm grateful for the run I had with Deontay. And, and if anyone thinks I was watching the fight the other night, like rooting for what happened to happen, you know, I didn't have that kind of attitude at all. I got no... I got nothing but love for him and his family. He, you know, you work with people and then things end. But I, I, I wouldn't have been there in the first place if not for Deontay Wilder. So I got nothing but love for him. Wow. Those are the words of Lou DiBella once again as he was questioned about how he felt about Shelly Finkel denying the claims that Lou DiBella left Team Wilder because of the DAZN deal. And Shelly Finkel, of course, had no comment. And, of course, Lou DiBella was like, hey, he had no comment. He had no comment. I told you what happened in a couple of interviews. The whole industry knows what happened. Now the whole world knows what happened. Okay, so it's not a situation where he's mad about it. You can tell he still has a little a little bit of aggression, a little bit of of um, not towards Deontay. Again, you could tell that with listening to Luda Bella, something whatever that conversation or that disagreement between him and Shelly Finkel and Al Heyman. Of course, this interview pretty much confirms it. Why? Because the way he responded. We know Luda Bella's from New York. He doesn't hold any. He doesn't hold his tongue. But this, then again, this guy is, um, he's censoring and he's telling you it in a, in, in a situation to say the least. He's not telling you a whole full drawn out conclusion, but he did. But you can tell he was still frustrated about it and it kind of revamped some feelings because he was like, okay, well, if he didn't like the zone deal so much, why the fuck was he sitting there? Al Heyman, the same shit. Al Heyman was there. Shelly Finkel was there. Why couldn't they get those fucking deals for Deontay Wilder? Perfect answers to ask. That's something, Deontay. You have to ask Deontay, like, what the fuck were you really doing? What were these people really doing for you? You know what I mean? See, and that's what gets me. And a lot of people think, oh, man, you hate on Wilder. I don't hate on Wilder. I just question his intelligence. Because you got one guy that's trying to do everything and, and go out for the bat for you, open up other avenues, get you the fight you claim you want so fucking bad, okay? And then when he does it, you let these people that ain't did shit for you in 40 fucking fights, 30 some odd fights, ain't paid you shit, ain't got you nowhere that you need to be, uh, denied the fight with Klitschko that could have that took you past Joshua or past Fury, Right? You would rather listen to those dudes instead of listening to that guy that's trying to get you something that you never had before. If you want something you, you never had, you got to do something you never done, right? That's what Luda Bella was trying to do for Deontay Wilder. And they, they, damn near they crucified him for it. And I know what Luda Bella told him. He told him, you know what? You guys can take a, a flying fucking flying fuck. That's what he told him. And I'm guarantee you that's what it was. Think about how he answered. He said, why the fuck didn't he get that? Those things from those are his managers. 
So in other words, what the fuck is Deontay Wilder paying them for? You know, unless people, okay, me counterpunching, unless Deontay Wilder was com comfortable fighting all those fucking bums. He was comfortable getting exactly what those guys were doing for him. That's the only explanation. It's either that or he's a complete fucking moron. Either one of the two. Okay? Think about it. You got pissed at Ludabella. You sided with Shelly Finkel and Al Heyman in a meeting that was going to get you hundreds of million dollars, which you ain't got to this day, which I doubt you will have. Okay? Then he leaves because they didn't like how he got with an outside network or platform to introduce something to you that you say you wanted and you're okay with Ludabella leaving your team. If, I, if I'm intelligent and I'm Deontay Wilder, I'm like, wait a minute, that guy helped me. That guy right there is the one that showed me something that I never seen. You know what I mean? So either he's complacent with who he was with and he didn't like taking risk. That's why he was cool with fighting all those fucking bums, Uber drivers, plumbers, taxi drivers, whatever, other than fighters. That's why he was cool with that because uh, he didn't have to take any risk. Low reward, sure, but low risk too. Low reward, low risk, right? And those risks that he was taking, it didn't bother him. Or that, or he's just fucking unintelligent. He's not a very, he's not a bright guy. You know what I mean? It was either that or just stupid. He just can't think for himself. That's why he has people that are taking him for a long ride, like Shelly Finkel, like Al Heyman. Oh, that's that. And, and look, and for by the way, guys, Al Heyman in this meeting supposedly told, leaned over and told um, Deontay Wilder, that's Mayweather training money. That's Mayweather training camp money that they're offering you. Like he ever got him something bigger than that to this day and he got beat okay so yeah that deals out the window because he doesn't have anything to bargain with no more so it comes back to everything said and done with Ludabella Ludabella was like look I don't even want to want to talk about it that's how upset he got and he got upset for a little bit and he was go he was beginning to show it and he shut it down by like look I don't even want to talk about it no more you ever seen someone that start talking about something and he got pissed off about it. And the more he talked about it, that's why he had to silence himself. That's exactly what Luda Bella did in this situation. OK, so again, he has no uh, ill will towards Wilder. You know what I mean? And that shows you what type of guy he is. This guy has integrity. This guy has a real heart. This guy's a real person because he ain't hating on Wilder. He ain't wishing him ill will. Like he said, I'm not here. I, when, he, when Fury was beating Wilder, I wasn't jumping for joy. I, I, I wished him, you know, I will only wish him the best for him and his family. You know what I mean? So obviously what he's not saying is what he feels about the rest of those motherfuckers in Deontay Wilder's camp and his, on his team. That's who he got kind of crunk with, you know, and outrate when he started explaining about it with Shelly Finkel and Al Heyman. That's the problem. Not Deontay Wilder. But ultimately, Deontay Wilder should learn how to speak and think for himself. But obviously, he ain't done that thus far. So that's where he's at. And there's another saying. Um, if you want something you've always had, keep doing what you're doing. And that's what Deontay Wilder's doing, unfortunately. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Luda Bella's comments towards Shelly Finkel. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.